The spooky ghosts and monsters are back again with Luigi's Mansion 3 being out. Which is a great game by the way. So of course the leader of it all had to come back as well. The mighty King Boo, who is seen in every Luigi's Mansion game and became the arch nemesis of Mario's brother thanks to that. However, after seeing him in so many games, both main series and spin-off, what changed about his strategy and battle? Well, let's find out how it evolved in terms of use, design, story and gameplay. Now all of this started with the idea for Luigi's Mansion, which was centered around exploring many different rooms, similar to The Legend of Zelda Dungeons. First they wanted Mario as the main protagonist and wanted the location to be a huge house from the start and it began as a Japanese style ninja house. But after some playtesting it changed and changed turning into an American style haunted mansion. And with the change in setting there was a new emphasis on ghosts and Luigi became the man for the job now as well. And so they had to make a king to rule them all. King Boo, who was the star of the very first game. And remember, I will just cover the fights from this point onward. So if you want to know more about his story specifically, then click in the upper right corner for a history video on both the King and Normal Boos. Now let's get to the first battle. Here you fight Bowser himself. Well, I mean, not really? because it's King Boo in a suit who controls him from the inside. He uses it to attack the plumber by shooting flames at him, attempting to inhale him into his mouth, and creating three large spike bombs that he will toss at you. So you're not really fighting the Ghost Lord himself, but him in an alternate form acting more like Bowser from almost any other game. It makes for an interesting fight from the start though, since the battle is set on top of the mansion, with everything around it looking like some hell dimension. And then you have this gigantic creature going after you. Quite a scary and impressive setting to be honest. Now you can deal damage to it by grabbing one of the spiked explosives using the poltergust and releasing it into its mouth. Thanks to this his head is blown off all of a sudden, and so he has to get out of it, exposing himself, allowing you to use the poltergust. But while you're depleting his hit points, the suit's head hovers around the arena, shooting icy blasts at you which will freeze you briefly. And after a while he flies back into the dormant Bowser body and continues fighting you in this form until you once again blow off his head. And so slowly but surely you're weakening King Boo. Eventually you start messing with him so much that the head keeps reattaching backwards, causing him to run around aimlessly. And in the end he loses all of his life points and gets sucked up. Now personally I think this fight is quite cool. While you don't really fight King Boo, the battle with the suit combined with the whole scary setting works really well. Although it is a bit simplistic and short, especially if you keep your distance and wait for him to throw bombs at you. So it was a cool fight but not really a King Boo boss battle. More like a different and weird version of a Bowser fight seen in some Super Mario game. But this would change in the very next title. But funny enough, this was actually a main series game, Super Mario Sunshine. Here we see a completely different version of him who is way more goofy and not really scary at all. The battle is also very strange, revolving around a giant slot machine with images of pineapples, coins, stews and question marks. When you spray King Boo with water he will activate the slot machine with his tongue and there are five possible outcomes. It can spit out coins, enemies, bubbles and fruits, which is the thing we want, because these can be picked up and thrown. If you pick up the pepper and throw it at the king's tongue he will panic because it's super spicy, giving you, the player, the opportunity to throw another fruit which will damage him. However, three segments of the roulette wheel will constantly move in different directions which can make things a bit harder, but you can stop them. And after hitting him three times he is defeated. Now as you can see this fight is extremely different and way less serious. While the last battle was a horrifying and possibly stressful experience on purpose, all of this is more lighthearted, with the whole fight being even easier now, only being a bit tedious at times, and the random effects of the slot machine really add to this. Personally, I think it's still a lot of fun, but yet again not very fitting for a King Boo. But keeping in mind that it's set in a casino, it's not a bad idea. 
In general, this whole game was a bit more chill. It was set in a tropical paradise, of course, while Luigi's Mansion is set in a haunted mansion. So of course it's different, but I think it's still cool to see this different version of him. And in the next game, we would see a combination of the previous one and this one from Super Mario Sunshine. Because in Super Mario 64 DS, we also take him on. And here, it's not really that spooky, or Goofy. You take him on in a big room with a giant mirror, where he appears out of nowhere and then the fight starts. Now this battle is actually very fun and the mechanics that make it all function are very, very clever. Because of course that giant mirror plays a role. As soon as he vanishes, you have to follow his movements through the arena's mirror and stomp him when he comes close enough. That's it. The concept of this fight is really simple, but it works so incredibly well, and also makes a lot of sense for the enemy itself. Boos hide as soon as you look at them, so you can't do that. And the game makes an interesting mechanic out of this using the Medusa concept. You know, that snake woman from the Greek legend? If you looked at her, you would turn to stone. And boos work in a similar way. But they don't harm you when you look at them, of course. However, by using the mirror, you can still find out where it is. The whole concept is so simple, but it works incredibly well. Personally, I would say this is also the very first fight with him that really feels like fighting the King of Ghosts. It's finally fitting with his character, and something similar to this would also happen with the Luigi's Mansion game. Because after 12 years, they finally made a new one. In this title, he pulls you into his own illusion world, where he has all the power. And this makes for a really cool boss fight, better than any of the others I mentioned before. And it's also one of the most scary and nerve-wracking battles in the history of the whole character. Right from the start, the pressure is on. He creates a gigantic corridor in the middle of this universe, which you're dropped in. And King Boo will start chasing you. So from the beginning, you're running for your life. As soon as that's over, you end up in an arena where King Boo will try to crush you while turning sections of the ground into traps that will slow or damage you, with random stuff like spike balls falling down from above as well. In general, a lot of things are coming down and try to stop you in some way. And what you need to do is make sure that one of those falling objects hits King Boo so you get the chance to suck him up using the Poltergust. In time, this stuff will get harder and harder and harder until you finally beat him. Now, personally, I think this fight is awesome. The whole setting and combination of actual fighting as well as running away in fear works incredibly well. It's a bit of a scary game after all, so the pressure and fear the corridor sections create really helps with that, while the arena portions make sure it still feels like a boss fight between you and the King of Ghosts. So really, it's a huge improvement over the one seen in the very first game. So while we had to wait a very long time for this title, they did improve the final battle immensely. But nowadays, we also have the third game which they released recently, and of course here you also fight the Mighty King. And this time it's set in an arena, feeling like a serious one-on-one -on -one with the King, who is using all the powers he has. Throwing spiked balls, fireballs and bombs, slamming down on you, trying to hit you with its tongue, and casting lightning. He even creates clones of himself so he can create even more chaos. In general, this fight is a whole lot to take in, and probably the most difficult of all the games. After surviving all of his attacks, you get the chance to pick up one of those bombs and fire it back at King Boo to stun him. Then you pull on his tongue with Guiji's help and slam him repeatedly, with him cloning himself after to make it even more difficult. And so the battle becomes harder and harder and harder, more things being thrown at you every round, which will make it really hard to dodge his attacks in the end, with the ultimate challenge being in the final round, where he will enlarge the painting giving you only 4 minutes to finish it, well there are 3 of them now. And those bombs are also way harder to get now, because they will rain down in enormous numbers making it hard to grab one. When it comes down to it, this is one of the most crazy boss fights Nintendo has ever made, a bit like how Bowser in Super Mario Odyssey blew people away. It's hectic, requires skill, and also a lot of focus. Because otherwise you end up hitting the wrong King Boo, and you can tell them apart by looking at their teeth. Hey, little side note, there are playlists in the upper right corner with more videos you can watch. 
please do so after this video. Now, let's continue. There's one bad thing about all of this. It's just too much. He can do a million attacks and it's a lot to take in. Now a hard boss fight isn't a bad thing, but it shouldn't just be an overload of attacks, but actually good mechanics. And this fight has both. So I would take out some of the strategies he uses, like the slamming down. We've seen that before anyway, and it would make it a bit less all over the place. But regardless of that, this fight does a lot of things well and all of his attacks are cool looking, as well as challenging for the player in multiple ways. I'm not even sure if I like the battle from Luigi's Mansion 2 or 3 more, but regardless of that, King Boo has come a long way. From not really fighting himself, to creating visually impressive as well as mechanically advanced battles that every player should respect at least a bit. 